After driving most every niche in the gig economy in different marketplaces, starting in 2015, in my opinion, bonuses are the leading factor that's going to determine if you're going to make 25 to 30 plus dollars per hour. So I do want to give you honest advice when it comes to these bonuses. Again, really because they are so important, in my opinion, when it comes to your earnings. And then ultimately stay to the end of the video because I want to give you a strategy to possibly get more bonuses. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike. On this channel, I help you with the gig economy, your side hustle, your full-time hustle, making money and creating multiple revenue streams. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. And of course, if you haven't done so already, check out the newly updated Amazon storefront for the best accessories for all of those hustles. So in my opinion, if you want to earn really that 25 to 30 plus dollars an hour, you're going to do it with bonuses. Now, sure, tips I feel like are a second place, but really for the efficiency, for driving the same miles, for doing the same work, to get that extra pay with bonuses, that's critical. I'll tell you, it's certainly not going to be the base pay from really any of these app companies. So take a look at what you should expect. Now I say expect these are certainly not earnings guarantees as you'll see if you've driven on any of these apps. These really do vary by marketplace. But I lived in San Diego for three years before moving back to my hometown here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we'll look at what the San Diego marketplace is doing this time on DoorDash. So start to get an idea of bonuses. Now this is a per delivery bonus. So every time you complete a delivery, you'll get this extra pay. So take a look here, an extra $3, an extra $4.50, an extra $3.50. I've seen this go as high as really $6, maybe $6.50. Here's another screenshot. Again, back in San Diego, we see $2, $2.50, $3, $4, It'll actually include the similar kind of map here in Pittsburgh. Now to realistically set your expectations, let me know actually down below in the comments for your marketplace, four, five, six dollar peak pay, that is really much higher than average. Now on DoorDash, generally, if you're seeing one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, I think that's more in line, more normal on DoorDash. Now next, an app that I'm not really a fan of, I was actually surprised I found any bonuses at all, but Postmates on a batched bonus. Now this is different. DoorDash has this as well, but a batch bonus, it's just that. You'll do a batch of work on really any gig app and you'll get a bonus after you complete that. So here are the batches, 10 deliveries, and then you'll earn $65. Always very important, here's a tip for you, read the fine print. You really need to know, is it a guarantee or is it extra pay? So for instance, if this was, you know, earn $65 for your next 10 deliveries, am I guaranteed to earn $65? And if I've earned less than $65, Postmates will pay the difference to meet $65. Or it's after 10 deliveries, it's whatever I've earned, do I earn an additional $65? And then here is a per delivery bonus. It's a $2 per delivery bonus on Postmates. But in my opinion, again, let me know down below in the comments, I really rarely drive on Postmates because I don't see many bonuses of either type on Postmates. Remember, I showed you those crazy per delivery bonuses in San Diego, an extra three, four, maybe even $6 on every single delivery that you complete. But now statistically what I've shown based on my numbers back in San Diego is if I drove on those really maxed out peak pay bonuses, it doesn't mean I make more money. So you're possibly making less money because of competition, right? Drivers are really flocking into that zone. They're all trying to get that four, five, six dollar peak pay. Now that could, and it probably will, lower the amount of offers that you get in a given hour. So my goal, I really try to aim for 60 to 70% of the max peak pay or really any per delivery bonus in your market. So instead of maybe a four, five, six dollar peak pay, back in San Diego, I was happy with a three or three dollar and fifty cent peak pay. Here's another per delivery bonus. It looks a little bit different. This is on the shipped platform. It's an on-demand grocery service, a daily essential service, and we can see here promo pay an extra four dollars. Now it may sound good on paper, an extra four dollars for really any delivery, right on any app but you really need to look at the dollars to time ratio. 
how much am I going to get paid and how long is it going to take? Because this $14 here for this single delivery on a ship, if it takes an hour, obviously that's really not worth it versus maybe it took 20 minutes. So I want to show you a very unique bonus that I just received just today on Uber Eats here. And I think it's really going to be in line with some of the tips I'm gonna give you to get more bonuses. But firstly, here's a consecutive trip bonus. Now this is on Uber Eats, so you may wanna look at these kind of bonuses as well. It's pretty easy, but you need to complete three trips literally in succession in a row here to get the extra $18. So there may be a problem there. Think about your marketplace. You will have to complete three in a row. You can't decline here to get this bonus. So that means it's really regardless of pay, regardless of distance, you would eventually have to accept three in a row. It's massively important to understand your marketplace, but let's get into the tips of possibly how to get more bonuses and really, again, frankly, some honest advice. Okay, tip number one on how to possibly get more bonuses. And there is a caveat there because, I mean, there's no guarantees when we're talking about algorithms and really market specific and a driver specific bonuses as it does vary. But tip number one to possibly get more bonuses is to really drive less and break the cycle. So for instance, if you drive every weekend, every Friday to Sunday on a DoorDash, well, DoorDash's algorithm knows, hey, this driver drives all the time, right? From a Friday to Sunday. So there's quite literally zero incentive for the app to offer you extra pay because of that. You've established a pattern, but what happens if you possibly break that pattern? Look at this massive bonus that, again, I just received from Uber Eats. Earn at least $1,550 for your next 110 deliveries. Let me know if you've seen a bonus like this on any app. Let me know down below in the comments, but there's some major, major takeaways you need to look at. Number one, how is the pay here, right? So the dollars, the 1550 divided by 110 deliveries. I would do that first. Just get the actual per delivery amount so you can really make sense of it on a per delivery basis. So that averages to $14 and nine cents per delivery. Second, remember I said we need to read the fine print. Is this extra or is this a guarantee? If we read this, this is actually a guarantee. So if I complete 110 deliveries, and again, the fine print says that this one by May 26th, 2021, if I don't hit 1550, Uber Eats will pay the difference. So this is absolutely a bonus worth pursuing. We have a month to complete this, right? and it's going to average after we hit this $14 per delivery. So let's say I'm out accepting $6 and $7 deliveries, I'll get an extra, whatever it is, you know, six, $7 after I complete this batch. Now, additionally, and this may get missed, so lean in for this, you're gonna to have to look at this on your own marketplaces as well, but the fine print says that Quest bonuses are excluded. Quest bonuses, those are the batched bonuses on Uber Eats, like I showed you on Postmates. Same kind of thing, you complete, let's say, 30 deliveries, you get an extra whatever it is, $60. So since Quest bonuses are not included and explicitly says that in this, that means I have an opportunity to double dip on earnings, which means I can drive a weekend Quest bonus, I can get the Quest pay, and it'll actually also count towards this larger batch bonus, and I'll also get the additional pay from this guarantee. And one more thing to really tie this in. Remember, I said you may not want to drive as much or really take a break from your cycle of driving. Here's what I mean by that. Look at the verbiage here. It says, when you're ready to deliver again, we're introducing a new offer that can help during uncertain times. That verbiage right at the beginning really infers that I haven't been driving and they're offering this as an incentive to get me back on the road, right? It says, when you're ready to deliver again. Now, surprisingly, I've been driving on Uber Eats, so I'm not sure exactly why they offered that to me. My guess is it's just really a supply and a demand need here in Pittsburgh. But I'm willing to bet that they probably would send this to the drivers, again, to get them back on the road, profiles that haven't been driving in a while. So what I would do is sign up for different apps as so you can drive on a different app. You can break your cycle 
on your maybe go to app and maybe generate a bonus like this. That actually ties into tip number two to possibly get more bonuses is again is signing up for new apps because there's possibly a new driver bonus or guarantee. Sometimes these apps offer just that. So you're a new driver, you're just getting started and they really want to keep you on the platform. The best way to do that is to offer you money. So they may have a similar earnings guarantees, batch bonuses, or they may just offer you really better than average per delivery bonuses. Okay, tip number three on how to get more bonuses. Now remember, I said I really wanna give you honest advice. So this is gonna be some pretty straightforward, honest advice. And that tip is really just to have some luck. For instance, I'll give you a great example. My brother Matt and I both drive for Uber Eats, let's say, here in Pittsburgh. Now, I've seen very strong bonuses, batch bonuses, that he does not see. Now, conversely, he sees boost multipliers that I don't see. And that is, in my opinion, straight luck. We're in the same marketplace, we're doing the same things here, but I just got lucky that I got a big quest bonus. It's just one of these things that, that these apps do. Let me know, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. How random is it? Is there something deeper as far as these algorithms? Why is it so different between him and I, you with other drivers in your marketplace? Let us know your thoughts down below. And then lastly, I just wanna tell you that you really need to understand the limits to your marketplace. So for instance, remember I mentioned the per delivery bonuses in San Diego, it was an extra $4, $5, $6. So coming here to Pittsburgh, and let's say driving on DoorDash, would I expect also four, five, six dollar bonuses as well? Well, I shouldn't, at least after a while, after I drive some shifts at different days and I start to understand, okay, here in Pittsburgh, they really never offer the five, six dollar crazy peak pay that they did in San Diego. So I wouldn't be stubborn and just wait and refuse to drive here in Pittsburgh waiting for really non-existent five and six dollar peak pay. Rather, I would understand my marketplace, right? I would look at the trends. I would start to understand, okay, what is the highest bonus that I can expect on a DoorDash, on Instacart, on whatever it is? So knowing that, then you can actually smartly say, okay, now for this weekend, I'll drive on Uber Eats because they're offering a $3.50 per delivery bonus, which is really at the higher end. And this weekend, DoorDash is only offering a $2 bonus. So following these tips, I firmly believe that you can maximize the bonus pay in your marketplace. Because again, in my opinion, it is really so important to maximize your overall pay on any app in this gig economy. So let me know your thoughts down below on bonus pay, on maximizing bonus pay, your questions. Definitely post that down below in the comments. And if you did get value in this video, definitely drop me a like. And you can also click or tap screen here for my newest video, as well as a video recommended for you. And I'll see you in the next one.